Hello everyone. Welcome to Maths. Hope you all are fine. So let's start our today's class. Today we are going to solve some question from higher order thinking speed. That is horse. Okay. The questions are very important for International Maths Olympiad and we'll solve the question from class 6, 7 and 8. And all the questions we'll solve from Indian Talent Olympiad. India is one of the leading Olympiad conducting organization. If you want to know more about Indian Talent Olympiad, kindly visit their website. The link of the website has been given in our description. Okay. So, at first let's solve some important question from IMO and then I will share with you two important links for Olympiad exam. Okay. But before that, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell notification for the update. So, let's start. So, this is our first question. This question is from class 6. So, what is the question? If a certain code language hammer is coded as 81131351. How will cookie be coded in the same language that you have to find out. So, at first try to solve this. So, dear student did you get your answer? Now, let us check the answer. So, at first let us write hammer and hammer is coded as in this way 8, 1, 13, 13, 5 and 18. Then how will we write cookie? What do you think? Very easy to write. You know, just think about English alphabets and H is the 8th letter in English alphabet. Okay. And then A, A is the first letter. Okay. M is the 13th letter and then again M. So, it would be 13th, 13th letter and E is the 5th letter and R is the 18th letter. Okay. So, in this way, this uh, hammer would be coded in this way. So, that means cookie would be coded in the same way. As we all know, C is the third letter in our English alphabet. So, we have to write here 3. Okay. And O is, O is the 15th letter. So, here we wrote 15. Now, again O. So, that means again we have to write 15. Got it? Now, K. So, K is the, you know, it's the 11th letter. So, we have to write 11 here. And I, I is the 9th letter. So, here is 9 and then E is the 5th letter. So, we have to write 5th, 5 here. And this is our answer, you know. So, we have four options now. Which one would be the right one? Option D. You see, it's 3, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 1, 9, and 5. Option D would, is the right one. Okay. So, now let's move on. Let's solve one more question. Case from class 7. Our number has two digits whose sum is 12. If 36 added to the number, its digits get interchanged. Find the number that you have to find out. Okay, so at first try to solve this. So, did you get your answer? Now, let us check the answer. So, here our question is a number has two digits whose sum is 12. Any way you can solve this question. Let us solve this question very fast and very easily you can find out. Whenever you have so many options, then how can you solve the option based question that I will tell you today. Here you can see our first number is 36, then 42, then 48, then 38. So, here it is saying that a number has two digits whose sum is 12. So, here you see it, there is a two digit number. So, let us add 3 and 6. 3 plus 6 is 9. So, it is not 12. So, let us move on. The next option is 4 and 2, 42. So, 4 and 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Next one is 4 and 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. So, it got 12. So, that means option C would be our answer. So, let us move on this option D. Let us check this 3 and 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. So, it is 11 but here is saying that it is 12. So, that means 48 would be our answer. But let us check it. We have to write the rest part. If 36 added to the number, then its digits get interchanged. Okay. So, that means let us add 36 with 48. So, 48 plus 36 is equals to 84 and 84 whenever we interchange 48, we will get 84. So, that means option C would be the right one. This way you can solve the option based question. Okay, got it. Now, let us move on. Let us solve one more question and the question we will solve is from class 8. It is very interesting question. You have to find out the missing values. So, at first try to solve this. So, dear student, did you get your answer? Now, let us check the answer. You see, here we have so many boxes now and we have 
rows and columns here is some pattern would be followed whenever you find out the pattern then you can easily find out the answer okay so let's find see let's see the first box here we have 18 so how can we get 18 you know here must be some relation between rows and column so let's find out the relation first uh, here the first letter is here j j is the 10th letter of english alphabet and J is the 26th letter of English alphabet. So, whenever you add 10 and 26, you will get how much? You will get 36. Okay. And whenever we divide 36 by 2, then we will get 18. So, it is 18. So, that means we have to do the addition of numerical values of letters row wise and column wise. Okay, and then we have to divide the sum by 2. In this way, we can find out any values. So, let us find out the values right now. So, let us see what we have to find out. Here you can see, here is a question mark that we have to find out and here is a question mark that we have to find out. So, let us find out first this one. Okay, here we have 9. See, whenever we multiply 9 by 2, we will get the sum. Now, because here you can see it is 18. Whenever we multiply 18 by 2, we will get 36. This is the addition part. Okay. So, here at first we will multiply 9 by 2 and we will get 18. So, 18 is the sum between these two j and this question mark. Okay. And j is the 10th letter in English alphabet. We already learned this. J is the 10th letter in English alphabet. So, how can we get 18? Whenever we add 8 with 10, we will get 18. That means we have to add 8. And which letter is the 8th letter in English alphabet? We all know the H. H is the 8th letter in English alphabet. So, our answer would be H. Okay. So, this is the value of question mark is H. Now, you can see we have 4 options A, B, C, D. And in the option C, you see it's H. So, that means our answer would be option C. Okay. But we have to find out the next word also. You must see now. But as I already told you that when it's whenever you have option based questions, then you can easily find out answer in this way. Now, I will show you how to find out the next part also. So, let me show you. Here you can see it's the R. And here is T. We have to find out this one. And R is the 18th letter of English alphabet and T is the 20th letter in English alphabet. So, at first we have to add and then we have to divide it by 2 and we will get the this one. Okay. So, 18 plus 20 is equal to 38 and then 38 by 2 is equal to 19. You see, it is 19. So, you already have your answer. So, it is our answer is C. So, how are the questions? Hope you enjoyed all the questions because all the questions were so interesting. Want to practice such more questions? Then what you have to do? Let's see the links. So the first is sample paper. You know, they have class wise sample paper. Click on this link and you will get class wise sample papers. Then you have a clear idea about their questions pattern. And for previous year questions paper, Olympiad workbook, kindly visit there. Okay. And you will get everything, you will get every details. Are the two links, okay? This will help you a lot in Olympiad exam. You know, next day we will learn something more new. Till then, take care of yourself and bye bye.